Hello everyone. We all know that streamlit application you can run from command line using the streamlit run command. So let's create a very simple hello world streamlit application here in this streamlit de debug folder. Create a file called myapp.py. Here I will import streamlit as st. These are three lines I have written. My conda environment. So I will activate and it is python 3.9 running 3.9.7 now let's run the streamlet so streamlet run my app streamlet started on local machine port 8501 application is running so if you have created an application like that and use pycharm as your id the question comes how you can debug this application and that's what we are going to see in this tutorial let me close this application so it's not running anymore i will be opening this streamlit debug folder and here is our myapp.py so i will be opening this folder and here is our myapp.py so let me set the interpreter here that is the project interpreter and we have to select one of the runtime which i already know that's going to work so i have python 3.9 as you could see here and that would be our interpreter for this project and that is using our 3.9.7 so everything so far is right here next we are going to learn how to debug this application so one option is that when you are going to select a python runtime so you could say this is actually the python 3.9 runtime i have and most probably everybody uses a format like that so you are selecting the script path if you have parameters you can set parameters here is your runtime python 3.9 and here is the working folder if you try to debug it application is started and it finished it's not running so we need to change this configuration and we need to select that the script which we want to run as a main it should be here and it should be run and the script name so that will become our parameter and here we need to get our streamlit runtime you need to come back to your python environment for which streamlit and depending on your runtime whether you are running conda or you are running virtual env or you have a physical uh, python running on your machine for any reason you could actually get the path for streamlit depending on wherever it is in my case because i'm on mac and my python is running on anaconda environment so this is the path for streamlit for me so i will take that path and i will use that path here make sure this path is correct and rest should be all set you apply it you okay and if you would want to validate the path you type streamlit here and it should give you that way or you could just say streamlit version and it should be able to give you the version here so at least i'm running version 1.7.0 put the debug break at st.header and we will debug so this is the pycharm let's run the debugger as you could see here it's a connected to debugger and here is our breakpoint if we come back to our runtime we launch here we will see that it's hitting our breakpoint. Header is not writ written yet. We come back, we jump one step, header is written. Now you see the header visible here. If you go one more line up, your second line is written. And at this point, if you just run it all, you do not really need this anymore. And we can look into here. So if we remove our debug break, we can very easily so this is just a very simple way that you could set up your streamlit with pycharm to work as a debugger just make sure you are using python 3.9 in for this one and set your edit configuration properly so that's all you really need for your streamlit environment to work with pycharm and capable enough to debug your code so that's all i had for you to share in this quick technical tip and I do appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my another video. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Please like it, share it and subscribe it.